All right. This next guest, the next presenter starred in this summer's me, myself, and Irene. And you can see him this Christmas in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a man of a thousand faces. The talented Jim Carey. Thank you, Keenan and Damon. I still think you're the most talented ones. <clears throat> Can anyone tell me what the hell I'm doing here? I have nothing to do with the music business. What is my purpose? Can you tell me? Really? I mean, I love music. I love what you guys do. I can carry a tune every once in a while. In fact, you know, maybe someday. At best, I'll be part of a Broadway show. Listen, Jesus, I don't like what I see. All I ask is that you listen to me. We are occupied. Have you forgotten how good dad we are? Did you notice how I actually unhinged my jaw to do that? <laughs> but I'm not in the music business. I'll tell you what happened. Okay, I'm in New York with Renee. You know, she's doing her Nurse Betty, uh, uh, you know, premiere. I was here with her. I have to mention that so you know I can get in there. And. Uh, but you know, we're in the room. We don't really want to come here. We want to sit and watch it on TV and eat chips. You know. But then I get the call from Ron Howard. Gee, golly, gosh, Jim, it sure would be good if you could go down there, you know, and just, uh, you know, you got the Grinch coming out, you know, sure would be good if you could get on that MTV music thing, Jim, and gee, golly, gosh, just wow them, you know? But I don't want to put any pressure on you, Jim. I don't, you know, I want you to be totally comfortable. And I said, Ron, cut the I know a threat when I hear it. Okay? But I didn't want to be here. Then they told me that I could introduce Eminem. Yeah. And I went, rebellion? All right. Uh, you know, he scares me. He scares me a little. Um, I've got to be honest. I enjoy his music, but he scares me. His lyrics are totally socially unacceptable, but you know what? I think if we just spend some time with our kids, we'll be okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eminem! May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? And I've been, you know, it's been a very gratifying thing in my life to, uh, to have done a few characters that keep revisiting new generations yeah. of people. So I get the 10 year old and the 40 year old that tells me about Ace Ventura, you know, oh, and how important it is. Oh, that's really to good. The, or the so, mask or all of these things. Yeah, all of these I mean, ones. you know, rappers sure. dressing up like the mask and <laughs> things like that. It Eminem is, said I was responsible for his Diamond album, that I wrote it. And I was like, come wow. on, please. <laughs> it's yeah. really good though. I, I mean, like if that. you look at the cover of the album, it's, it's, uh, it's basically the poster for Man on the Moon, a uh, revised uh, version of it with the Jeez. red curtain and everything and I was just blown away by that. That's I mean, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely oh. amazing.